Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Dig TV 59 Fleet Auto Detailing and more. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go through with you all everything that it took me to build my F-150. On this vehicle, I've had this truck for two years. And I'm gonna show you what I've spent on it in two years. And uh, it's easy for me to tell you, show you. Now the hardest part was I had to having to explain this one to my wife, okay? Okay? Because when she sees these numbers, uh, I already know, like they say, sometimes the shit hits the fan. To build a truck, it's not cheap. Parts and a lot of stuff that you can uh, get that, um, you know, that could, you can get them at some discount parts. But the thing about it is this, you know, a lot of this stuff is expensive, it is. That's one of the reasons why when you go to a lot of lots and you see some lifted trucks, you know, they charge you so much for them, you know? They charge you quite a bit. From the front of the truck, and I'm gonna go all the way back. But first, before I do that, I'm, and then I'm gonna show you sometime in the video, the before, how it looked when I first got the vehicle. Okay, so we're gonna start from the front around it. Now the first thing that you see, a lot of the stuff on the front end I've changed up, okay? The headlights, these are not no headlights that were on it. Those have been changed up. I did the head. I also put the Raptor grill on the front of it. Also the bull bar, also the light bar, and that is separate. That didn't come with the bull bar. The light bar is separate. As you can look on it, I got the hood scoop. I'll give you a look from the top right there. That's a part of the upgrade that I put on it, okay? The hood scoop, okay? Now, as I'm going through this, I'm gonna try to show you the prices of everything or what it costs me. Or maybe I might have to wait till the end of the video to show you. And I'll show you at the end of the video, okay? You see these side marker lights right here? I put those on there because I love a Raptor, you know, and it, it's, some people think it's a Raptor, but it's really not. Those who know F-150s know this is not a Raptor, okay? Uh, I think Raptor is the greatest truck in the world uh, outside of TRX, and I think the Raptor's got the edge of the TRX, okay? Now, when I first bought it, the wheels and wheels were on it, but those tires, these are 35 inch tires. There were 33 inch tires that were on it. So I also replaced the tires. I want you to look up under there and look at the uh, upper control arms and the shocks. Those are the Rough Country uh, three inch lift uh, shocks with the, uh, with the upper control arms. Those I replaced on there as well. Now you can't see this, but if you look down inside of my wheel, well, you can see I did the, the calibers red, but there's also, if you look right down in here, you can see that little writing down there. That's an inch and a half wheel spacer, okay? And I did have two inch wheel spacers, but they set out too far from me, okay? So I use, I, I got rid of them and put some uh, inch and a half, 1.5 wheel spacers on it. I took that big long one down, put the 16 inch one up there. I like that one a whole lot better. I blacked out the badges. As you can see, the badges are blacked out, okay? Now I had a full step running board that was up here. And I took the running boards off and I put these side steps on it. Where I put wheel spacers all the way around. Now, if you can look on that one, you can see that blue wheel spacer that's connected onto the rotor, which is right there, okay? As you can look in the back back here, you'll see shocks in the rear, okay? The extension, the bully tailpipe pipe extension, I put that on there. Now, I have to look at the tonneau cover. The tonneau cover, that was something also that I put on the vehicle, okay? Right uh, here, I put that on this on because it didn't have one at first it just had a tow ball it was right here on this bumper so i took that off and as you can see i got that covered with uh tread grip okay rear auxiliary lights they light up very very bright at night when you back up when you put the vehicle in reverse on the vehicle here okay all right there are the side steps from here is i'm gonna take you under the hood and uh, let's take the spark plugs out, okay? 
I put a new big battery in there. And the battery that it called for at first had 635 cold cranking amps. This one's got 720 cold cranking amps. You see that oil catch can right there? I also put an oil catch can on it, okay? Payment system right there. That's not the original one. The one I had in there at first um, had that Sync 5 and had a little small four or five inch screen on it. This has got a seven inch screen. This is much better than what I had before. It really is. I mean, uh, the, my sink was acting up, so I just went and put a, a, that new one in there as well, this new stereo system. I got these off of Amazon. I believe I paid 200 bucks for these seat covers and they, they feel like leather. They look like leather, they look good, and I get a lot of compliments from them. I look at the back seat back here. Those are the other leather seat covers. The other one running boards were all chrome. The fenders, the um, not the fenders, but the uh, the bumpers and everything. All that I blacked all that out because all that was chrome. All that was chrome. I just couldn't stand. I think. My opinion, you know, some chrome has played out, but I don't know, it's kind of coming back. And then on, on the certain vehicles, you know, but for this one, I, I think being blacked out made it a whole lot better. Walk back into my shop. I've and got all that, including the new brakes, the new rotors, all that. I did that, I did the work. This is without labor. The only thing I didn't do was the stereo system. I had that put in there because, you know, I wanted it done right. You know, I, I you know, and, and I was a little bit kind of skeptical of it. So, you know, I, I just went on at the pros. I, I didn't put the wheel spaces in there, which were $175, okay? So we're looking at uh, pretty close to 4,500 bucks is what it has cost me now. As I said, to sum everything up, this is all the stuff that I've done at the F-150, and I said I'm not doing anything else, okay? I am. I got one more thing that I'm gonna do to it. So, guys, what I'm gonna do is, and I've already ordered them. I ordered the Raptor-style fender flares, and that's the last thing, Craig Smith, that I am doing to this vehicle, okay? And you can get a plain one, a plain XL, and this is an XLT, okay? This is not a, a Lariat, okay? This is a regular, it's a plain old XLT, the leaf off there. And, you know, it, it didn't come with all the uh, bells and whistles. When I bought it, it had the wheels on it. And that's one of the things I liked, that it had the wheel. It didn't even have the lift on it. So, like I say, I'm waiting, they should be here in a couple of days. And after a couple of days, I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put the new ones on there. I'm gonna put those, uh, the Raptor style fender flares. Hold on, I'm gonna show you what they look like, okay? Okay guys, these are the Raptor style fender flares. And as you can see on this one, and this is a, it's a picture out of the uh, American uh, trucks catalog, but that's what they look like. You know, and you see they, and, and I'm, I'm getting them I'm gonna have them color match to match the rest of the vehicle, okay? But as you can see how clean that look is, you know, versus that look down there. I mean, some people may like that, but I don't. I just don't. To me, that looks like something else that's added onto it. And these are the, uh, these are the uh, riveted uh, pocket style ones. And I think these are much, a much cleaner look on that right there. I think that's a much cleaner look. And the thing about it is with the way my wheels stick out, I'll still have some poke. I didn't want a lot of poke. And that's one of the reasons why I told you I had the, the uh, two inch wheel spacers on there at first. And I took those two inch wheel spacers off and I put inch and a half on there because I didn't want them to, to me, they stuck out just too far. Okay. So anywho, to wrap things up, that's the last thing I'm doing to this vehicle, okay? It's a Raptor style fender flares. I'm not putting anything else on it. Took a look at a, a few Raptors, which I'm gonna have some videos on that coming up on some new ones, but uh, got, uh, I got uh, three years left to pay on this vehicle here because I got it for five years. I got three years left to pay on it, you know, and uh, 
keep it a little bit longer because I, I'm telling you, you want to get a new Raptor, you know, um, you, you're talking about getting a vehicle that costs you about twelve hundred, twelve, fourteen hundred dollars a month. I mean, you're talking about getting a that the uh, hundred thousand dollar vehicle, a hundred thousand dollar vehicle. I didn't pay a hundred thousand dollars for my house. If you like this video, please hit the like buttons, and I keep, you know, it's. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't want to sound like I'm begging. You know, I said I wasn't too proud to beg, but I don't know. Sometimes, uh, you know, I just, um, I just need some. I need you to let your friends know. You know, let other people know. Watch the videos. Hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing. Not one dime does it cost you out of your pocket to hit that subscribe button. Okay. So anyway, till next time, I'll see you here, Dick TV. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Peace.